Okay, so if you've been shooting as long as I have, the first thing that you'll know is that people love to use images uh, and they don't have the proper authority to use them, so they're breaching your copyright. And it, there's no one firm answer on how to deal with that well. You know, how, how you want to go about that with your brand, that, that's something that you're going to have to figure out. But one thing that people always ask me is, how do I find out where my images have been used, how many times they've been used, whether they've got my name on it and so forth. So there's like a really, really easy way of doing that. And I'll show you now. The example that I'm going to use for this one is a band called Pagan. And Pagan are friends of mine, so I, I didn't mind that somewhere along the line, my name had dropped off. That's fine. And so we're going to use it as that as an example, um, because I'm not going to be offended. I'm not going to be upset when I see the results. So we could easily write in here, Pagan, maybe Pagan Band, Pagan Band, and then my name. Up the top, we've got all my results, which makes sense. And then we're down to Hysteria down here because they mentioned my name and so forth. But that doesn't catch everything because it needs to say Pagan in text to actually pick it up. And so this is what you'll find is the biggest problem in being able to track down copyright infringements of your work. So the way to do it, right? Go back to Google. There's two different ways you can do it. Here's the long way, and it's not even that long. You go to images up the top here, and now we're in Google Images. And so we can search for whatever we want. We can search for Pagan Band in here. We're gonna get all these results. So I know that my one is the second one here. So, um, you know, that's fine. There's all these other picks, but I only really care about this one here. And maybe if I've got a photo of a bridge, it's not gonna be as obvious as Pagan Band because if you've got a bridge like, um, you know, the, oh, why do bridges escape me as soon as I need them? Bridges like, um, you know, the red one in San Francisco, you know that one? Um, Golden Gate Bridge, there he is. So uh, what if you did that one, Golden Gate Bridge, let's throw that in put Golden Gate Bridge in here. So many pics of Golden Gate Bridge. And so it's going to be a lot harder to find your photo in that. And that's where Google image search by using your image is going to come in handy. So let's jump back to where we started. We're in images. And you can either click and drag, or you can just hit this button here, search by images, and you can, if you've got your image hosted in a certain place and you feel like they're just referencing your hosted image, then what I'd probably do is paste in your URL there. But I don't, I don't think that's the best way to go because a lot of people save the image to their computer and then they re-upload it to their server. And so you'll never find it that way. Or you could upload an image, choose file, and we choose our photo of Pagan and we hit open, it'll upload that file. I think when you do the path version as well, um, it will just look at the image rather than the path, but I'm not 100% sure, and so I go this way. So now we've got all our results. You'll see up the top, it's put in my image into the results. It's put the text beside it that it relates to. Uh, I don't know what the purpose of that is, but um, that makes sense. So now we've got all these results here. And you'll see that all these results use my image that I uploaded. Kerrang used it. AV Hub used it. You know, Distorted Sound Mag, my website. And so we can go down all these and we can start to see how many have actually, you know, been credited. So we can open the Kerrang link. We can open, you know, this Pile, Rat, Pile Rats link. We can open Rock Pit and Maniacs Online, just for a, a bit of an example. If you look at each of these, right? That's my image. That's the image that I found. Um, 
you know, have a quick scan. Sometimes you'll find your image credits down here, but if we just searched for Matt, zero of zero. So, you know, Kerrang hasn't credited. Pile rats is my image again. Uh, again, quickest way to do it, type Matt. Found Matt, the drummer Matt, I would probably think is the uh, superior Matt, but you know, that's the only Matt on the page. So they haven't credited it. Rock Pit, We're looking at Rock Pit here, throw in my name, Matt again, but not the Matt, not this Matt. So Rock Pit, tsk, tsk. Maniacs, there's my pick again. Drummer and Matter, neither of me. So Maniacs, tsk, tsk to you too. So that's how easy it is to do a reverse image search. Now we'll go to each of those different, you know, I'd hit up the band specifically and I'd say, oh, hey, you know, was that left off? And then get a copy of the press release. If the press release has my details on it and it hasn't been, you know, taken over into the article, then I would hit up the publication and I'll say, hey, can you do this about it? Can you help me out? Like, uh, you know, work with me here. And that's as easy as it is but it gets even easier, right? So that's one way you can do it, the long way. This way is the easier way, right? So we'll get out of this. I know, I'll go to a photo that I know has been used enough to demonstrate this, you know, the, uh, the process. So I'm on this page of Soho. I did this photo shoot for them um, and it was cool. Um, it was a fun time and there was no requirements around it, but so many people have credited right because I know they, they do that um, on the press releases really well. So I can right click on that, on the image, and then I just go down to search Google for image. That'll open a new tab, and in this tab, it will do that whole process we did before, but just for that image. And so it's automatically uploaded that image into the results, and we see down here, Here's all the versions. So music feeds, for example, um, YouTube, because it's the it's the frame, like the, um, the pre-playing frame. IOU, my site, T for Two Journal, you know, Pinterest brings up all those results. So that's how easy it is to actually uh, search for your work. So I would recommend you definitely spend the time doing it, figure out what you want to do about it and just you know, try not to jump down anyone's throats. It's so easy to make a mistake in, you know, communicating the requirements around, you know, attribution and things like that. And copyright's such a gray area, but, you know, you are the copyright holder unless you waive those rights. So it's worth knowing how to protect your images. And like I said, it's that easy. So I hope it helps protect your work, love what you do and keep on shooting.